Well, if it's Tuesday, that means it's time for uh, Bruce Williams to check in and bring us a story from his travels up and down the island. Tonight, Bruce takes us to Nanus Bay. Uh, you might say takes us to no man's land. Another reason Bruce says, I love this island. So he's, um, he's got big feet. Yes, he has. What size shoes are those? <laughs> 69s. <laughs> the Nanus Bay Gnome. It changed a little over the years. And Ron Hale is the man who made it happen. His scrapbook chronicles his creation. Ron built it 15 years ago as a part of a go-kart track his family operated here. When you say, well, I'm the guy that built the gnome out in the highway, and they'll go, whoa. Kind of strange. You know, where'd you get that idea? You know, It was inspired by a gnome at home. We had a, a gnome at home, you know, like a lot. I copied him, except I enlarged it by 15. He's not just a gnome, the gnome has a name. I called him Honorable Howard, like, you know. So Howard, Howard, Howard here. Yes. Howard's hair and beard are made of foam. Those milky white teeth are made from four liter plastic milk jugs. And those eyes, they used to light up, but not anymore. Red lights, people like kind of a, some people got a little freaked out at that night. <laughs> I never tried. I kid you not, they'd phone me up and tell me about it. Howard stands 27 feet 11 inches, or 7.9 meters tall, and he stands alone. Have you ever built anything else like him? No. I, I was always going to build a Mrs. No, Mike, you know what I mean? <laughs> so he turned out to be just a little bit more work than you thought. I had builder's remorse. It took Ron four months to create Howard. I made it so he could take it apart. So there he stands by the side of the road. Originally, he was here, of course, because it was a go-kart track. But now, when you stop to see the gnome, you can get some gas and maybe a burger. Well, a lot of people are interested in its history and background because they want to know where it's from and why we have it there. Do people thank you for building him? Yeah, they do. Like, they they kind of think it's a, a fun thing, like, you know what I mean? Well, not everyone thought it was fun. The regional district of Nanaimo had a problem with him. It, it's higher than a structure is supposed to be at that, you see. So they considered him a structure? Well, they had a little trouble <laughs> defining what he is like. It's not a structure. It's, no, it's a piece of it's art. Him. It's a piece of art. Eventually, the RDN gave Howard the thumbs up, and he's another reason I love this island. Bruce Williams, CTV News, Nanus Bay.